got valedictorian for the July 2017 congregation. And he's graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Administration between Banking and Finance Options. And with a final grade point average of 3.91. <laughs> Chairperson and members of the University Council, Vice Chancellor, Pro Vice Chancellors, Registrar and Provost of Colleges, Deans, members of the College of Humanities Advisory Board, distinguished guest speaker, Your Excellencies, members of the Diplomatic Corps, members of Convocation, Nime, Lame, Nananom, parents and guardians, fellow graduates, distinguished. Ladies and gentlemen, take a quick look at the person seated next to you. <laughs> we are one strangers from our different worlds with one inspiration for which we gathered here some 1,402 days ago. However, fuzzy the memory, we all had the same vision of this day to be seated and honored as graduates. Day by day, it became clearer and give us some very similitude. And today, we live this vision from four years ago, and we sit no longer as strangers, but as a family and a network of interconnected worlds. We are living a school with loads of unique memories. Class of 2017, we have indeed come a long way. Congratulations. <laughs> we are extremely grateful today and I admit in humility that I'm really honored and elated for this opportunity as valedictorian, the voice of the inspiring class of 2017. <laughs> it is my hope that we can all reflect on the memorable years thus far and be stirred by this word towards greatness. No matter how success is understood, I believe everybody has the potential for genuine success. All, lies on what, all hands on what lies in our heads and within our hearts. Fellow graduates, we know of the exponential increase in our work as an aligned commodities in the future. And as such, let us capitalize by taking a long position at an option premium of these three units of food. <laughs> the first, covenant responsibility towards our vision. Every great operation requires cooperation for there to be a manifestation. For confession without profession will cause confusion. Until we appreciate covenant responsibility towards our visions, we will continue to live our lives as liabilities in the global statement of financial position. Bishop Dr. David Oedipo. When we raise our heads up high, let us see the reality of our estate as space setters as front runners, as a people who mark a watershed in hours and many generations to come, and not only see, no, but more integrally commit wholeheartedly to it. The second unit of truth in taking our long position is adequate separation. Luke 14, 28. For which one of you, intending to build a tower, seated not down first and counted the cost, whether it has sufficient to finish it? Preparation causes us to embrace opportunity. Abraham Lincoln once said, I'll prepare and someday my chance will come. Give me six hours to chop down a tree, and I'll spend the first four sharpening the axe. As we step into greatness, greater opportunities will be thrown at us, and many doors will be opened before us. We live, we live in a world which is ever growing at an imperceptible rate, and in order to catch up, 
you must also be readily prepared. Fellow colleagues, the pivot of this address, which couples as a third unit, is continuous learning. If there is one thing I've learned in life as an undergraduate, it is simply that learning is a continuum. And this is the highlight of what I want us to appreciate this day. Second Timothy 2.15, steady to show thyself approved. We just never stop learning, and I know most of my colleagues here have a testimony to that. We all remember our exuberance at the beginning of our academic, uh, the first year at the business school. The first thing we heard of the business school was that it was easy to sell to. If there be anything, friends, which caused humility in most of us sitting here today, it was the result of our 100 first semester academic work. I don't know about you, but personally, I was humbled to appreciate learning. If we put aside the knowledge and grades acquired from academic endeavors, we immediately acknowledge that we have acquired much more than we paid for. The profitability index, which is the ratio of benefits to cost of our four-year journey, was far exceeding 1.0. We have learned a lot. We have tolerance and patience from living with diverse people, teamwork from working with people, marketing skills for, from campaigning for people, leadership skills from taking up positions, organizational skills from organizing seminars, extracurricular programs, organizing leaders' dinners, <laughs> and such like. And we have established strong networks, very strong ones. One thing I took from the many stories our lecturers told us is that in our many readings, it is not everything that we come across that we will understand. But the beauty of it lies in desiring to know more, for which we shall read more, for knowledge is priceless. Therefore, in all our getting, let us get understanding, be it in academia, in our workplaces. As entrepreneurs, we are always going to study and learn something. The world outside of this hall plays by a different set of rules. But guess what? That is not going to stop us. Even the Simpsons rule and the decision tree of business math does not stop us. <laughs> we still integrated our way through and made the right decisions among alternatives. As you all know, entrepreneurs are the driving force of innovation in our world. Let us not sit back and wait for jobs. Let us go out there and create enterprises. Let us embrace this freedom of failure as a springboard for success. If somebody offers you an amazing opportunity, but you are not sure you can do it, say yes, and learn how to do it later. Richard Branson, the road is not going to be easy, but whoever said there are two roads. On this note, I want us to acknowledge the University of Ghana Business School for the incubation program they are initiating towards harnessing and growing entrepreneurs and innovators in our generation. World changes of 2017, very say, we are the lighted ones, a land flooded with resources being and yet to be exploited. Our ministers shall be found, exceptional student leaders at various le levels of leadership, poets, prolific writers, profound public speakers, global contest winners, entrepreneurs, and ambassadors of this great university. university. Our ministers have found nothing but greatness in progress. At this moment, let us appreciate the stakeholders of our success. Ebenezer, thus far the Lord has brought us. Our parents and guardians have been the lifeblood of our journey. So we all kindly appreciate them with a round of applause. <laughs> we are really, really, really with that. To our lectures and administration, throughout the years, you have become our, you have become our parents, advisors, and career counselors. We say a very big thank you. To our friends and other stakeholders, thank you very much for being with us.
But we also not forget Larry Tesla, inventor of copy and paste. And Larry Page and Sergey Brin, founders of Google. Now to my colleagues, take a good look again at all the people seated around you. For it may be your last. I conclude by saying, necessity is laid on us. My friends, my brothers, my sisters, even as, we, even as we step out of this place and go out there, to be an illumination, a UGBS class of 2017 over others, lift up from among the many and be great. God bless the University of Ghana. God bless Ghana. And God bless.